Ha, new package day. There could be anything in there. Ooh, solo cups too. Let's go see what we got. Apparently this side's up. Let's see what's hiding out in this big box. Could be anything in here. Bonus points if you know what movie that's from. If you think you know which movie that's from, drop down in the comments section, leave a comment. Stinky. Nice. Well, if you don't know already, this is a Honda EU1000i inverter generator. It's a small little guy. Um, I'm kind of curious by the way it smells if he shipped it with gas in it. Let's, let's take a peek here. Definitely still has some gas in there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Somewhere there's a way to check the, oh, that's a spark plug hole. Somewhere there's a way to check the oil on this and I just don't really know how. Maybe behind this cover. This guy here is the oil. Definitely has some in it, but I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and drain this just because who knows how this was tipped around and kicked over while it was being shipped. And then we'll just put fresh in. Let's see if we can't get this in this bucket without dumping it on our awesome drywall table here. Oh, there she goes. I guess in hindsight, maybe I should have started it first to warm it up, but just paranoid with it being used. Not a whole lot in there. I guess it's an air cleaner. Everything looks good there. Has a little rubber booty here and a molded plastic piece. This, uh, you just tip it and then it drains out with this molded booty onto this molded plastic piece and then into your catch pan. It doesn't have a uh, like a level on the actual dipstick tube. I think you just fill it up uh, to the brim here. What's your choice of oil? I always tend to stick with Penn's oil. That's my name brand choice. Drop down in the comments section. Let me know what kind of oil you prefer. I've just always been a Penn's oil man. question is can we do this without making a huge mess oh boy answer is found now the next question can we return this sheet of drywall just kidding. You can't do that. Uh, hopefully this will be the part that we cut off and throw away. Because I just douched it in oil. That was not smart. Oops. If you didn't know already, the small amount that I dumped out was actually the correct amount of oil. It just seemed like such a tiny amount. And I got a little overzealous dumping it in there and, well, you know, made a huge mess. Don't do this. Now that I effectively made a huge mess here, we did manage to get the oil changed, take a quick, took a quick peek at the air filter. Everything looks good there. Let's uh, top her off with some fresh fuel and see if she's gonna fire up. It couldn't have had too much fuel in it because I put quite a bit in there. I believe this is a vent control valve off and then on it's go time let's see what she's gonna do change the oil check the air cleaner topped her off with new fuel so you gotta switch down here to turn the engine on choke here 
And then all we have to do is pull the rope. Oops. Look at that. Wow. Second pull. That's awesome. It's not overly loud. It's, this is max RPM now, and it mimics somewhat of what you would expect from a air conditioning unit on a house, a small, small unit. Here it has the echo throttle control for uh, the best fuel economy. So if we turn this on, it'll bring the RPMs down. Now it's really quiet. One thing I don't understand, it has a DC port for charging uh, car batteries. It looks like this switch is supposed to stay in for DC. Had to figure out what we're doing wrong there. Has a oil alert sensor, AC over alarm, over AC overload alarm, and then the output indicator, which I believe flashes for the uh, simplified hour meter. All right, let's go plug something in. This unit's pretty easy to carry. It's carrying it one-handed. So far, it doesn't sound like it's too noisy. Give her a little test here. And she is a working. Yeah. So that other box had this little treasure in there. And this is a custom halogen light that actually affixes straight to the genset. It's a pretty big light. Telelight. See if we can't get this bad boy fixed back to the generator. This goes on here. So you got those three screws tightened up. Uh, obviously we're missing the fourth one. This one isn't right. We'll have to pick up another one of those. It's probably fine with three though. Then up here on this top side, there's some indentations on the handle. Little bosses stick in there. Then you have a pinch screw here to keep it held. To keep those bosses held inside that uh, pocket. That's probably going to loosen up. Now we got the light on there. Let's see how she performs. This is going to be the first warm restart. So I don't think we should need choke. It feels, still feels warm in the case. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, nice. Nice. That's right. Woo. Puts out some heat. Oh yeah, that definitely lights up the way. And I consider this generator my own personal light plant, even though it isn't a gigantic pull behind diesel powered light plant. This thing sheds a lot of light. I mean, I am super impressed with this and I am very happy with this purchase so far. I think it's gonna come in really handy when we're working on projects, especially in the uh, 
colder winter months or the fall months when the days are short. It's important to note that if you're running your generator, make sure you're not running it indoors in an enclosed space next to any doors or windows from your enclosed space and just be very cautious of carbon monoxide poisoning. Don't be like me and run this unit indoors. I was running this inside the shop, but during that time, both the front and rear garage doors were open and there was a nice cross breeze, so there was no concern there. But keep your family safe, get yourself a carbon monoxide detector, and keep this thing out of an indoor enclosed space and or away from all windows and doors. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave your questions and comments in that section below. And don't forget to punch that subscribe button your way out. Thanks for watching, everyone.